Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly. All right, welcome back to another Remarkable Report. My name is Trevon. I represent Century 21 Mike Ballman out in the DFW Metroplex. I also cover Austin, Texas as well. So if you are looking, selling, buying, investing in these areas, don't hesitate to reach out. In these market reports, we just go over the stats, information in the area, maybe some commercial information or commercial real estate news so you can get an idea of what's coming if you are shopping in a specific area. Things that are new so far, we do have the World Cup. We're gonna be having eight to nine games in Arlington Stadium itself. That'll be coming in 2026, so lots of investing opportunities, plus just growth coming to the DFW Metroplex as that will come to fruition. That's exciting news for the future. On other news, as far as interest rates, now I'm not a lender, so if you do want information as far as interest rates, what yours could be, let me know and I can get you in touch with one. But we did see interest rates go up last week and they're a little bit above the sevens now, but they always fluctuate. So it's gonna depend on your debt to income ratio, how much cash you make, your job, so many other factors. So let me know if you want more information and I'll get you tied up with a lender to help you out. But let's just start with the stats. We typically do DFW first, that's gonna cover Denton, Dallas, Tarrant County, and Collin County, which is a lot of homes, but at least you're going to get an idea of broad movement. That way, from week to week or bi-weekly, you can know what's going on as far as your specific area. Now, if you want an area that I don't cover, just let me know, and I can get you those numbers for that specific neighborhood or that or that specific city. With DFW, um, two weeks ago, we had about 1,144 properties sold, 1,774 new listings, 1,437 pending. And as we move forward to the last seven days, we did have an increase of up around 339 properties. So 1,483, we had 1,946 new listings. So above, you know, about 170 or so, and then 154 pending. So that is a clear indication of a pickup in the market, whether you believe the interest rates are too high or not, definitely key evidence um, in, in interest rates actually went up last week. So it's going to be interesting to see what the stats are for the following week. Just keep that in mind, especially if you're a seller waiting or maybe you were trying to sell at a certain time and it wasn't working out for you. Now is definitely a better time than eight to seven months ago. Now, as far as buying, of course, there's still a lot of opportunity out there. I wouldn't say FOMO has kicked in. You're going to start seeing things move a little quicker just because of interest rates being lower and more activity as we leave the winter market and head into spring and summer where a lot of activity happens. All right, next we're going to touch over Grayson County. So Grayson County had 41 properties sold about two weeks ago within a seven day period. 66 new listings and 38 pending if we move forward to the last seven days we had 53 properties sold 80 new listings and 48 pending so quite a bit of a jump as far as new listings and um, that's what you want to see especially in these other areas where there's not as many homes for sale but the activity is what you want to keep in your mind so hood county two weeks ago we had 21 properties sold within a seven day period 34 new listings and 32 pending now a massive jump as far as new listings moving forward so the last seven days we had 22 properties sold 78 new listings i mean basically double new listings and 19 pending so lots of activity happening in, in hood county and that's what you want to see All right next we are going to touch over navarro county so navarro county is more of a rural area so it has lower numbers but when you see this area pick up in activity typically the whole market's moving so navarro county Two weeks ago, in a seven day period, seven properties sold, 18 new listings and 12 pending. Last seven days, we had 11 properties sold, 15 new listings and nine pending. Last one we're gonna touch over is going to be Wise County. And Wise County pretty much stayed the same, which Wise County's got a lot of growth coming its way. Two weeks ago, we had 26 properties sold, 32 new listings and 24 pending. Now, if we move forward the last seven days, we had 23 properties sold, 43 new listings and 28 pending. And that's gonna be it for the county stats. Now I want to show you some other information just as far as the macro data that is coming to um, where we live. So DFW, lots of growth, right? We have a little triangle from Houston, San Antonio to Austin to Dallas, you know, DFW Metroplex. It has got the most growth worldwide. It, it currently has a population of over 20 million people. So that is a lot of people within that small little region. 70% of Texas population is within this little triangle, you know, mega triangle, growth triangle, whatever you want to call it. 25% of all the retail space in the U.S. is in this little triangle. You have to keep that in mind for perspective and, and where we um, will start to grow, right, once we run out of room. <clears throat> like these outer cities, maybe you get ahead of the curb and, and buy there or, and, you know, look for land there uh, to get ahead of the curb, right? 
course, never nothing is for sure. Some, this is the way some some investors might think about it as far as where they're going to purchase next, and you know, to beat the wave. Currently, Dallas has added over six hundred thousand jobs. Great for rental income, great for population growth, and that's just good for the DFW Metroplex. Of course, we have no state tax income. People from California, you're going to love hearing things like that, and we still have plenty of people from states who do have a state income tax coming over. Also, Texas is the largest exporter in the USA. So that is some great news and things to look forward to. Not only that, but Dallas has the fourth most billionaires who are staying in the city. So you're seeing money come to the city and you're definitely seeing it stay. So the future definitely looks bright. I definitely see Frisco really, really taking off. Of course, you know what's coming there. Universal Studios is gonna get out there. Um, so lots of growth is happening, but it's all around the DFW Metroplex. Like I said, if you want any information on a specific area, city, just shoot me a text, give me a call, and we can dial in the numbers to see what you're looking for or hopefully get you something in the year 2024. Okay, lastly, I'm just going to briefly go over um, what the average is for current interest rates. Like I said, they have gone up from last week, uh, but you're seeing about a 7.1 for the average rate for a 30-year fixed if we go over. A VA is sitting at about a 6.55, you know, much better than eights. Obviously, your 30-year fixed FHA sitting at a 6.29. I mean, still great numbers compared to what we were seeing a couple months ago. And with the forecast, they're expecting them to go a little lower. Of course, you know, we don't know everything, but the market, the way big money is moving in the macro data does seem that, you know, it does seem that interest rates will get a little lower, which, you know, we hope that that doesn't shoot prices astronomically high. We do have way more inventory. We do have a lot of new construction coming to the area. So that should mitigate some of that. So it's not just, you know, panic FOMO, you know, people losing out on opportunities, but great market to be a part of. Don't believe the, uh, the mainstream media, you know, it's not, you know, it's not all the way left. It's not all the way right. It's not all the way good. It's not all the way bad. It's really in the middle. Depends on where you're looking and how you're looking and kind of what your goals are, right? Like if you're, if you're buying, are you trying to buy something that you're living for five, 10 years? Are you trying to buy something that you're willing to fix up? Are you not? What location do you want to be in? You know, do you expect growth to come in the future? And then for selling, where are we going to next? You know, what are our goals for selling? Do we want to sell in days? Do we want to sell in a month? Do we want to sell in 45 days? What are our goals? Because that's going to really dictate the process you take beforehand. And that, and that typically makes the whole process a lot easier because once the ball gets rolling, it gets moving and then people lose out on opportunities or people feel rushed. That if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Feel free to reach out if you ever have any questions regarding homes, real estate, anything in the DFW Metroplex. I'm here to help. Once again, my name is Trevon. I work with Century 21 Mike Bowman and we're here to help you with your goals as far as real estate. You guys have a blessed week. All right. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly.